got a four wall ABS. You're going to have a couple bleeder screws on top. Right here and right here. But to bleed those, you're going to have to open up the internal bleeders. And the internal bleeders are going to be down here on the side. Also, these little pistons right here, the high pressure pistons, you're going to have to push in each of these here to get it to bleed correctly. And there is a special tool do, made for that. Uh, I'll show you what I built and you can try to build something close to it. It's really simple on how to, how to build it. Um, but I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and start with that. Right, here's the tool, tool I built for it. Like I said, it's very simple. It's not much to it at all. This piece right here is what you want around this ring to set inside that ring. That is one inch inside there. So I just took a piece of pipe, measured a half inch on each side to get my one inch center, cut it, and then took a took an angle grinder and cut it all out right here. It does not have to be squared off like this. If you have a one inch drill bit, that'll work too. Then I just took and welded a nut on it right here. So basically, when you have this thing together on there, you just tighten it up just like so. It'll push in that bleeder. So. Uh, if you don't have a welder to weld that bolt onto there, you could actually put the bolt here on the inside and that will work as well. This is inch and a quarter pipe, so it gives it plenty of room. If you put a nut on the inside, that would work as well. That wouldn't even have to be welded to do it like that. It'll just press against itself. I'll show you how it works. All right, so here it is. So basically, this tool is going to slide right over this ring right here, just like so. And it sits in there. It can't go anywhere. It's locked in right there. Uh, so basically, from that point, all you're going to do is just screw it in. Just screw it in right till it's touching it, just like so. Let's snug it up just a little bit. And it's going to be, uh, I've got a half inch bolt, so it's going to be a three quarter inch wrench. Uh, just do a little snug on it and it'll hold it in place. That's all you're going to need right there. You're going to do that to both sides. And just leave those in place. All right, now you're going to do the internal bleeding screws. It's going to be this screw right here. It's a 10 millimeter. All right, crack that loose about a quarter to half a turn just so it can uh, loosen up the internal bleeder just a little bit. All right, there's gonna be one on that side, 180 degrees. There's gonna be another one right here. That's gonna be 10 millimeter. So crack both of those loose. All right, now that you've cracked both of them loose and you have your high pressure pieces on here to keep your high pressure solenoids locked in, then you're gonna go down to your regular bleeder screws like you're on any car, okay? These are gonna be eight millimeter. This is gonna be the front, this is gonna be the back as it sits on the car. Um, that's what you wanna do. Have the person push the pedal down till they start feeling just a tad bit of pedal. It's probably gonna be about 25% of the way down. Just they feel just a little bit of pedal. Then you wanna stop, have them hold, break it loose, and have them push all the way to the floor. It's gonna squirt fluid out of there. As soon as they're done, Tell them to keep on holding it till you tighten that back up. Once that is tightened back up, they can lift it off one time, let it set for a second, let it pull the fluid through, check, make sure your fluid's not low, and then start over again. I hope that helps you out on how to bleed those. I know they're a pain to bleed. Some of them say that you have to go to the manufacturer and have them uh, put it on a scanner. Uh, this, this requires OBD-1 GM Tech 1 to go ahead and pulsate the motor on it to push the air out of it. Another way is if you go on a gravel road, dirt road or mud or something like that, hit your brakes, let the ABS activate, it'll push the air through the system and you'll probably have to bleed your brakes one more time. Um, but this is another way that you can do it on the truck. If they feel kind of spongy, uh, you can go ahead and push some of that out and see what that fluid looks like. Um, it's not hard to do as long as you have those pieces to, to do it with. And like I said, they're, they're not, that, not that big a deal to build. Uh, you can buy the pieces. I think they're $25 or $30 a piece. So it'd be about $60, $70, bucks, something like that for the set. I uh, just had some scrap metal laying around in a bin and just built this. It was super effective and it worked. Um, this system is not on the truck right now because it was actually bad. Once I bled everything out and uh, went through it, it was actually a bad. I couldn't get the motor to activate in it, so I put another one on it. Um, but I hope that helps you out on how to bleed a system out. Uh, if you have any questions that I can help you with, feel free to ask me. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Appreciate it, guys.